one of the most solid motherfuckers I've ever met. We've been down since day one. I I I I, I concur. Corey Holcomb. You. Give it to me real. I'm about Don't to. Don't sugarcoat it. I'm about to. As your friend, because I call you, I call you my friend. And because I'm like that. I fuck with people that I gravitate to. We had a chemistry at the foxhole instantly. And between you and I, niggas knew Corey and Zoe gonna get their own show. I'm talking about when we was on Speedy's Comedy Corner. Niggas already knew. Them two niggas gonna have their own show. But when we started doing the show, and you my guy, and I see contradiction. What I'ma say is, let me tell you this over here. What contradiction? Like, for instance, if and now I understand you better. I understand this better now. Uh, Cause I hear I hear, I hear comics comics say this all the time. They say, "Oh, he's just a comedian." That's that's what comedians do. This is how comedians act. So I'm listening to you, and even when there's a beef, a comic is gonna try to make that shit funny. They're gonna capitalize off the funny in the catastrophe. So, i.e., the shirt, i.e., you know, the diss record at the beginning of the show. So I, I now I understand that's what comics do. But as a friend, I've always been this type of nigga. If my homeboy is doing some shit that I think is not cool, I'm gonna stand up to him and say, "Yo, don't do that." Remember? I'm Remember you, this? I'm gonna need you to not Watch put this. that on comics. No, let me. No, I've I've heard it right, a thousand times. Comics ain't clever like me. I've heard it a thousand times. <laughs> Remember when I came to your show? And you was like, I'm about to, I'm about to go in on Grady. The first thing I said was, don't do that, brother. I put you to the side. I know. Before I said, I'm did, not, I said, I'm going to sit over here. Got there, I said, I don't want Zoe and Darlene over here because this is some shit where I don't want nobody on the internet right. to lie and say somebody did something. But there have been times as your friend, I stood up to you. I stood up to you as your friend. When you was getting ready to talk about Ice Cube, I said, brother, don't do that. What was I, what did I say about Ice Cube? You was, you was going in on Ice Cube, I said, don't do it. You was what like- What did I say about you Ice was talking Cube, about, I don't know. You was talking about Ice Cube doing a deal with the devil. And I was like, don't, don't, don't speak negatively about the brother because the brother is leveraging his platform to bring attention to reparations and our plight. I was telling you, don't speak on that, brother. And this is, this is my way of saying, I'm your friend, I don't want you to look bad. We need them receipts for that. Oh, the, the, the show is still up, brother. Right, because I don't take mine down. Yeah. When they bad, good, whatever, <laughs> I G with it. This is what I said. And if I said something, I, I want to know what I said. Like right now, because see, I'm a big fan of Ice Cube. I feel like Ice Cube has always been a rebel with a cause. Yeah. So I don't know what was said about Ice Cube, about me and this, that, and the other, and whatever. But I did, I will say this. A lot of celebrities have given in to the Trump game. Because Trump got some real mm. street game for your ass. If you got the right money, you can get pardoned. And, but, and see, and I think that's where we ran aground. Because Ice Cube wasn't on that. Ice right. Cube was oh, just trying okay. to talk to whoever is in power. And whoever is in a position to help us move this reparations movement forward. Because the wealth gap is so motherfucking crazy that, man... Who, who do I need to talk to? Whether they be Democrat, Republican, whoever is in power that's going to talk to me about this particular agenda. He was the first one to throw I'm open to talk to them. Yeah. He hooked up with Tone Talks. Tone Talks helped him refine the numbers on the wealth gap in his uh, contract with Black America. So I was telling you, don't shit on the brother. Because you was like, 
this nigga is doing business with the devil. This nigga fucking with the Trump people. And, and I was like, don't do that because we don't want to bring negativity to whatever momentum he got going. But one and, thing I could say, like, I don't remember what happened, but if you're dealing with Trump, you're dealing with the bullshit. I stand on that. All right. The Nation of Islam, under the leadership of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, did a deal with the KKK. He met with the KKK. Now, I definitely would love to hear the true specifics of that. Your so brother Rizzo, your brother Rizzo will tell yeah, you. Okay. He did this a deal. Legendary. He did a deal with the KKK. You know this is information to me, right? Yeah. Okay. He did a deal with the KKK to protect NOI people down in the south. Because they, they met with the KKK. They, they had a separate So, okay. They wanted separatism. This is what I'm saying. I would love to hear the specifics of that. Yeah. And what is what 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 somebody has to say besides like a brief conversation right now because you know what I'm saying? Like I understand um asking a motherfucker who whooping your ass to cool out for a minute. We right. all know how that go, but I'm saying like right now we just said the man went to the KKK like I'm finna sit down and negotiate with them about something. I want to know what happened. I want to know the specifics. And I'm sure, because see, there are people who got love for me. Yeah. And if they see this, they're going to call me and give me Absolutely. the information about this. Absolutely. I'm not, I'm Absolutely. not knocking yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. I'm just saying, I can't speak on that because I don't know nothing about it. I'm getting them all my information from you right you now. You can Absolutely. Google it. It's just it's really it's just, it's all, it's almost as big as Medgar Evers, like in in the hierarchy of Black history that somebody sat down with the KKK and would look. You don't like niggas. We don't like white folks. We gonna come down here and tell niggas to leave you the fuck alone. You go and we need you to keep us safe while we do. So that. you said wait no, but see we gotta make sure we don't get this interpreted the wrong way. The brother didn't say. It like that. That's not how he would talk. Oh no, that's the th that's that's the cliff notes of it. I don't have a, a direct quote, but the the energy of it was dude went down like, look, you don't like who. It was people. Malcolm X. In, in I don't, yeah, I don't like your people. Wait, wait, you don't hold like on. People. Wait, she got she got the receipt. What is it? Malcolm X met with. He secretly met with the KKK in 1961. Malcolm X secretly met with the KKK in 1961 for what purpose? And of course, Malcolm X is under Elijah Muhammad. And Malcolm X wasn't going to do nothing that Elijah Muhammad himself didn't sanction. Of course. You said Malcolm X met with the KKK. I'm listening to you. So, but that was the bigger point that I was making on the, on the Cube show. The point I was making on the Cube show is diplomacy is part of war. So Cube met with the Ku Klux Klan. To create a separate black state. Like, we, we don't want to fuck with you. We are, and I get what you're saying because I'm over there too. Fuck these white folks. I don't want to fuck with them at all in any capacity. But we got to understand that that's a group of people. This whole black, we are not a monolith bullshit. You are through a scope. That, that's them working on that shit. We have to work on this side. And we have to respect. Sure, I don't, I don't think it's going to amount to a fuck. I don't think dealing with these white people in any fucking way. I think this is a distraction. I think politics is uh, something to keep niggas busy to make niggas think they special. I don't think it has anything to do with us. But if that's the fence they want to paint, I ain't going to knock your paint over. Paint that fucking fence. Me, I'm over here. I got a car. Matter of fact, I got a car I'd like you to I I'd like to invite you to join. I need $100 from you. Phil, I need $100 from you. Uh, DJ King, I need a hundred dollars from you. We're gonna all get in the car with a hundred dollars and drive up on somebody black house, knock on the door, and arbitrarily give them five hundred dollars. We're gonna find somebody that needs blessing. And if we can start that shit and shit like that. But see that's that's, that's on some other shit. The point you making is same team shit. And see, if we're yes. on the same let me tell you something, man. Not it. family don't even get uh, get along with each other all the time. No. Right? 
But if we wearing the same jersey and we cross each other in some kind of way, apologies have to be in place. Sincere apologies have to be in place in order to maintain the unity of that team. Shaq and Kobe could have won motherfucking five, six, seven championships if they would have found a way to communicate and apologize to each other and get back on the same team. Listen, man, we wearing the same jersey. For me, I love my people. I love the work I do for my people. I love the work the 5150 show has done for How motherfuckers. About How about it? So if we got beef, man, we owe it to each other because we wearing the same team. That's we wearing the same jersey. That's why I said your issue with Grady. Grady is my guy. I fuck with Grady. I'm doing Grady's show next Wednesday. You did Grady's right show. Wednesday. Right? Yeah. Again. I'm doing it because I believe in Grady as a good person. You guys may have fallen out, and I urge you, Corey, please. Man, work it out with him, too. Fuck that whole ass nigga. <laughs> that whole yeah. ass nigga, I've tried to work it out with him, and he motherfucking high siding the motherfuckers in the niggas' ear talking about, oh, Corey apologized to me because of some sucker shit with a motherfucking haircut. After I, man, fuck. Fuck Grady. I didn't grow up with Grady. Grady is not from Chicago, Illinois. But you didn't grow up with me either. Yeah, and but the time I have spent with you, check this shit out here. Mm -hmm. The time I have spent with you, who you see me motherfucking come at like that? Sotomayor? Yeah. Have you seen me come at a lot of motherfuckers like this? Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying to you is this. You mm -hmm. said, the nigga ain't do nothing to me. I let you have that, cause that's you gonna grow and see what needs to be saw. But I'm telling you, this is a fuck nigga. I'm telling you, I let the rest be up to you, G. I'm just, it's my duty to let you know this nigga is false flagging. It's my duty to let you know that this nigga is motherfucking uh, perpetrating, dog. Okay. But you will find out. I don't have to be like, I, I you know what I'm saying? I got a question, bro. I got a question. Now, clearly, clearly, no self-respecting gang would ever let me join. I got to Except ask. the Marines. Except, well, except the Marines. There's that. Uh, I got cousins that's high up, high up in the GDs. Don't none of that, don't none of that buy me the right to say that I was ever folks, ever. I can't never say that shit. Cause you the same motherfuckers you Nigga. know love and die out there over them motherfucking streets. Yes. So you can't so come can't, perpetrating can't, around I me, would, nigga. I would never do that. Don't so perpetrate. So if Grady is still is alive. Still, hold on, yes. So <laughs> how is he, there's certain niggas can't go back to Chicago. How can he go back to Chicago if he say that? If he, if he, if he, really if he false ain't flag. Folks, you nigga, that ain't, you don't do that shit. You know, it's like this. this. I do this all the time. Nigga. I do this all the time with my hat. All the time. Nigga, when I come to O'Hare, I take this some bitch off or put it straight. Just, <laughs> no confusion. These niggas is but not some, playing. That's some real shit you said because you know what it is. Yes. You don't I'm fuck not, with that. I'm not, I'm not no motherfucking gangbanger, but I got people I would consider my friends. Which is a very strong word for sure, me. Sure. Motherfuckers who got my back. Right. Who live in that life. Hey, now. So you can't come around me perpetrating that life, nigga. I'm talking about that nigga. Nigga, I gave that nigga a chance to say, I asked him on my show, what township you from, my nigga? I asked the nigga. I know this ain't no motherfucking street nigga from the crib. But back on the shit, Zoe say, Zoe, I heard you when you say he ain't done nothing to you. Mm -hmm. I hope he don't do nothing to you. But I'm here to tell you what the nigga did to me. Mm -hmm. The nigga motherfucker took a lie he ran with and tried to make it seem like I did him bogus. Nigga, I ain't lie about shit. We had receipts to show what you said about what you did. And I ain't say nothing. Check the motherfucking video. I didn't say nothing about that man's wife. I just know what we did while we was out, which I said I wish I wouldn't have motherfucking. I think they call it bro, bro code. I didn't mean to break the bro code. 
but I was mainly talking. Okay, but that nigga started lying. I don't do that. I don't cheat. I don't do that shit. Nigga, get your capping ass out of here. We've been on the road together, nigga. Don't lie now, nigga. Okay. Well, but it's, it's but wait, 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 wait. You can't say both of those, bro. You what can't you say both of those. That's, but that's, tell me what you say. What they call it? Dry that snitching? shattering the man code. Okay? You, you cannot. I'm not going to put another I, I, man in any position to put himself in jeopardy at the house. I don't give a fuck how he run his program because the man code dictates that I don't go down that road because his girl, my, that's just some shit again, some shit that I'm on, that I'm never ever, the, the other way I look at this, I can't be your alibi if I have a relationship with your girl. If I get, that's my sister or my, my cousin or my niece, nigga, you can't tell her that you was out fucking around with me when you, as an alibi. That's part of my man code. Exposing, putting a dude in any kind of jeopardy with his relationship with his girl in public with what you have to say. And it's, that's a man code violation, bro. I don't know how you say I believe it's a man code violation. And if you watch the tape, <laughs> I said, I wish I wouldn't have even said nothing. But that's why I be by my motherfucking self. Because I ain't living by no motherfucking man code. I'm living by what it is. Nigga, I ain't scared to tell no bitch what I do. I don't give a fuck who she is. It's not about but fear. I know that ain't like the average fear. nigga. The average nigga wants you to motherfucking play the game with him and his girl. I don't like being around niggas' girls especially because I don't like playing the game. I don't even like meeting niggas' wives. Because I know what come with that responsibility. Tact? If, if that's what you want to call lying tact. for a motherfucker, tact. No, tact. The definition of tact is having some bullshit Discretion. to say and don't say it. Right. That's There's a hundred ways to push it. There's, it's, I, I don't know. Uh, you say having some bullshit to say and don't say and it. And don't say it. Say having some shit you want to say and you don't, uh, that's horrible or that's left field and you don't say it. That's the um, definition of tact. I don't want to know your dirt. And, uh, no, uh, I don't want to hang around niggas. I, I don't I like. I get that. I, I get I that. Don't, I, I like being by myself because I don't want to be jammed up in your shit. Right. And on my show, I talk a lot about my shit the most. Yes. I, I, I motherfucking um, destroy myself. But every once in a while, um, a brother who, who I respect a lot, Willie D, told me, if you talk a lot, you're going to put your, your foot in your mouth Eventually, one day. Yeah. So when you do it, just stand on it. And, and you know, if you got to apologize for that, because if you didn't mean it, you didn't mean it. What the fuck else could I do? If I, if I say something that I don't mean, I'll catch myself and be like, let me cool out. That ain't what I meant. That ain't what I meant. But most of the shit come out of my mouth, I'll stand on it. And that nigga was lying. That's why I was like, wait a minute. You telling me, you whoop de whoop de whoop, and that nigga was like, no, I don't do that. <laughs> That's what the nigga said. Yeah, but at, at the same time. At the same time, he go along with on... it to make him feel good. Well, no, no it's more <laughs> like, why does he have to answer personal questions about his intimate life on air? Ask him, because that's what he did. Nobody has the courage to motherfucker really talk to motherfuckers for real because you will lose their friendship. Well, I, I, let me just say this about, about that. If you talk to straight up, they will not disagree with that. Let, let me say this about that. that. Let's <laughs> have real conversations off the air. I think sometimes if you're not having real conversations off the air and we live in this world, this motherfucking podcast world, this internet sensation world, a lot of the shit we not talking about off air is going to find its way on air. And I think that's the motherfucking problem, especially if we wearing the same jersey. To me, you brought him to the squad. I fuck with the nigga. He ain't never did no dirty shit to me. Right. So, again, what you're explaining is your experience. And as a nigga on the same team, I'm just simply saying, y'all teammates, go over there and handle that shit. Go handle that. Wow, but it's like, it's almost like I I didn't do that. It's like, mother, I, I'm telling you, man, the day we had that shit on the show, I called the nigga and tried to squash it. That wasn't good enough. That nigga was in his little motherfucking little foot feelings. So run with it, nigga. What the fuck I'm going to do? I'm not going to kiss no nigga ass, especially when I motherfucking come to you like a motherfucking nigga from the bricks do. 
You on that Homewood floor small Bruh, bullshit. That little foot nigga Bruce shit. Do not co-sign fucking the man code off like that. Come on now. What you mean fucking co- co- fuck the, the man? Fuck the man code off. Dude, if you put me in a position to have to defend myself with regard to my girl, that's a violate. That nigga, that's the nigga with the black and white striped shirt blowing on the throwing the flag. Nigga, you can't. What is the definition that? of man code? What is the definition of man code? It, well, well it is the uh, man code. The almost often undescribable, almost often un- unexplainable, unspeakable rules between men that we have that separate us from the female species. Number one, uh, nigga, when I pull You don't up, talk to another nigga's woman. One, two, when I pull, let you out the car, we've been somewhere, nigga, don't be waiting on me to get in. Drive the fuck off. That's part of the man code. <laughs> this, that's, 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 don't be waiting on me. Don't look at another nigga's swipe in the urinal. Nigga, what? yeah. Oh. When you pee, there are three directions for your head. Down, straight, and up. Ain't no right. left looking, right looking, tall. Well, as, as far as it go with women, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, what if, is the if, man if, code? If, oh, your dude, if your dude is stepping out on his woman, it's not your job to get involved. To put his feet to the fire. And speak on that. So, what happened on the show? Zoe didn't address it. Zoe didn't address it. What I'm not it? taking up for it. I'm talking about that day we really jumped all the shit off. When I said we all fuck hoes with my dumb ass. <laughs> when I said that dumb ass shit loud. <laughs> I said we all fuck hoes. That goof ass nigga said, I don't do that. <laughs> But okay. Look at the tape. But the okay. nigga said, I let him say it. He was talking righteous shit and everything. I'm like, so I was but, like, wait a minute. But again, what? let, let this him is say what it. Let him say it. When, do, when does that turn into, wait a minute, nigga. nigga. I know you. I know what you be doing. I'll tell you when it turns into let that. Let him say it. I'll tell you when it turns wait, into wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. You it turns into that. that. Yes. Yeah. I'll wait. tell you when it turns into that. I let the right, nigga y'all, for you. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> no. <Nah>. Nigga, <laughs> what the fuck is that bullshit? <laughs> we fuck girls in Tampa 50. together. Nigga. <laughs> Nigga, don't so be what telling, you telling me, me then, who you talking you to, you telling nigga? me then, you with the exception me. of your friend friends, ain't no nigga shit safe with you ever. That is great news. That, but you go to absolutes, Jeff. You go to absolutes. Well, I'm not going to put my I shit ain't. with you on a maybe, nigga. <laughs> he might. Wait, no, I'm saying. I'm you saying. have just turned my confidentiality with you into a fucking minefield <laughs> that when it fits the show... Boom, nigga, there goes your foot. I get I'm, what nigga is gonna do that, Corey? Good point. Good point. I want I want you to feel good about your point. But on the show, it was motherfucking Zoe sitting right there. Okay. That nigga from over there. The little foot nigga. <laughs> I don't cheat on my <laughs> wife. Okay. What? Then we got the video where the nigga said just the opposite. Do you owe him an apology for outing him? Fuck, Fuck no, he outed out himself. You, so did I out you on the show? You yes. didn't say shit. Yes, you did. Actually. So didn't say I was like, shit. I, I didn't even know he was about talking about me. Dollars. Did you hear Nobody what he said? Knew about twenty thousand dollars. If I had known, you know what? You know what? To be honest with you, if I had known that that was an issue between you, I could have brokered something. I could have bought his debt. Words are so easy to spit they out sure the mouth. Are. Right now, I'm lying. I could have bought his debt. But let's just pretend I'm lying for a second. We could have negotiated. I was going to put him in my TV show for all this shit happening. <laughs> 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 anyway, anyway y'all be out, who y'all you just is. did the shit to court. That's the... That's what brings us back to go. We are here because there are no, there is nothing. Some shit should be sacred, Corey. Some shit should be sacred. I believe that. This is not what you're saying right now. I don't think you hear yourself. What I am here, and you could be What I was that. trying to say was, Zoe was sitting next to me when I said that dumb ass shit. We all fuck hoes, right? 
Zoe didn't even respond to the shit, really. But that nigga who want to be the alpha, okay, on the kids' footlocker side of the game, that nigga started lying. And because he got busted lying with his gang-banging alleged ass, what the fuck did I do? What the fuck did I do, hey, man? Hey, man, that's that man's business. He put it out there. But I, I didn't make him say that shit he said. I'm faithful. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Hey, you but, man, you ain't faithful to shit, nigga. But, but this, this is how but, you get out, nigga. But let, let, me, let me bring it back full circle. Like Jeff Brown said. Don't lie in front of me. I might say something. I tell niggas that. Don't well, lie in front of well, me. Well, let, well, let's do this. I, I, nigga. And if I lie in front of you, blast me. Blast me. If I lie in front of you, get me. I can't. Mm. And I'm gonna be like, y'all, you right. Mm. You got me. Cause I know if if you lie, cause everybody to lie, right? Everybody to lie. If you lie, I know when you get caught, put it out as soon as you can. I done lost so much trying to motherfucking make that lie motherfucking stretch. Yeah, I done lost a lot. Especially people I care about. I done lost people I care about trying Ooh, to stretch a lie. Oh shit, there was so, lies about me. Oh, yo, 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 yo bitch paying your bills. I was like, what? Okay. I was like, come on, dog. Some shit. Yo, did I, I said that, right? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm saying, so look, check this but out. That, Do I'm you, like, let's what? not talk about that unless we're going to really stretch it. No, I'm just saying. Okay. That let's was, not talk about it because it's nobody's business. But but, but to me, I'm that hurts. Let's just talk about what? who pays for whose fucking bills. I, and this has come from somebody don't, hey, don't nobody who has been for a bills. long time. I just don't think it's fair that there's certain shit, especially as us, especially as you, if you stretch what we doing over Black Panther, what nigga, is Black Panther? But the that's movie. the thing you gotta you know. You are Baku, nigga. You got I'm, them niggas. I'm just saying you gotta that, know. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be behind the veil. You gotta really know what's going on in a motherfucker's life before you can speak on some shit. Really? And I would never speak on anything that no, I don't, you don't know about. No, you don't. There's certain shit that you just don't. It's us. And them at some point. There what do you mean it's us be. and them? I don't if understand. Us, there is us, the elders on this side of the table. Them. People who hang on Corey's every word. People whose shit has been changed by shit Corey said. People who want you know what, bitch? Corey, right. I am just not fucking with you no more. I'm going to go take care of my shit take care of my kids. It's a nigga on the earth that that happened to. And abroad that that happened to. After a Corey Holcomb show. That makes them a them. You are an us. You have a responsibility, unfortunately, Corey, whether you like to believe it or not, as an us. But I don't understand what you're saying. You are an elder, Corey, whether you want to be one or not. 